Hi, this is Ceyda Ulukaya from Turkey. I work as journalist at Milliyet Daily and I'm also the founder of uh, Femicide Map Project. So what is Femicide Map Project? It is uh, an example of data journalism um, that aims to suggest how serious the problem of femicide in Turkey. Uh, it can also be seen as a database of femicide uh, that let us know how many women is killed by whom, where, under which pretext, and um, whether or not uh, she was exposed to violence or demanded a protection for security reasons, etc. So why did I start the Femicide Map project? Um, I started this project because um, in Turkey um, almost every day one woman is killed by men. So we get this information from media and um, then we just forget about it as a third page news. So I have thought that um, in order to um, understand this issue more concretely uh, we need to put the facts in a wider perspective uh, then i tried to get uh, the official numbers of femicides uh, by submitting requests to uh, various agencies including um, ministry of justice ministry of uh, social policies um, general directorate of security and Gender Marie General Command on the basis of the Right to Information Act. And I didn't get any information. Um, so I decided to conduct a research based on media reports. Um, I have made use of BNN's Male Violence Monitoring Report, which is also based on media um, reports. Um, I've collected the names from the report and Googled them all to get um, detailed information for each cases. So, as a result, <laughs> what can people see on the website? Uh, people can see that from 2010 to 2018, that means in eight years, at least 1,964 women is killed by men. I say at least because we are sure that uh, there are other cases that are not covered by media. Um, people can also see that um, in 1021 cases, the perpetrator was husband or boyfriend. And uh, it is also possible to see that um, at least 310 women is killed just because they wanted to break up or divorce um, and also uh, at least 246 women is killed although they have demanded protection for security reasons uh, so it says a lot and uh, there is also this interactive map which allows to see how many women is killed in each city So uh, why did I choose to report about this issue with uh, data journalism? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think this kind of mapping techniques or uh, more generally uh, data journalism methods um, help us uh, provide uh, a broader view. Uh, so when we see things from this uh, broader perspective, uh, it is much more easier to see the pattern that highlights uh, why the problem remains unsolved or uh, which kind of measures should be taken etc that's why i've chosen uh, can data journalism be a tool to address gender topics uh, yes i think data journalism can be a very effective tool to address gender issues uh, it is different from um, traditional way of storytelling um, as uh, 
here the language becomes numbers, not words. And of course the words uh, are quite powerful as they can address to our emotions. Um, but uh, to base our decisions on our emotions uh, can also be very dangerous um, as we see this phenomenon today in many ways. Um, so when we look at the language of femicide news, it is also quite problematic. Um, because some cases are reported like to, uh, to justify the murder or to simplify it without considering that the basic human right is being violated. So um, within this context, uh, talking with numbers uh, is a much more objective and factual way to um, make people understand um, a gender-based issue.